And here you see the old Ben Franklin five and dime store right there at 130 South Prospect. That's where I used to buy monster cards back in 1961 up through uh, the 70s. Anyway, here we go. See, there it is. It's the old Ben Franklin five and dime. As you can see, it's available now. Then from 1960 up through like, as long as you live in Park Ridge, up through like, I think we, uh, up till 93. They used to have different things here. But Ben Franklin actually went into business like around early 70s or 75, something. And that's when my mom was started, that's when it became Pioneer Press. And, and my mom was hired as a proofreader later, you know, after they were there for a while. My mom got a job as a proofreader. She was here for a couple of years and then they let her go like around 75 after a couple of years. But she was good. She was great. She's a great speller. That's why I'm such a good speller, because of my mom. And I always got good grades in spelling because of my mom. And um, see, right in there, that's where I used to buy the monster cards. See, it's 130 South Prospect. And there's the uh, mailbox, Pioneer Press. You know, and in there, you know, that's right down this aisle there. That's like where they had the monster masks and stuff. You know, and they're all trinkets and stuff, plastic toys and stuff, monster toys, balls, and baseballs and things. And right in here, you go through these doors, and right there, oh look, somebody cut BB holes through here. No respect for the old Ben Franklin. Anyway, so right you walk in this door, right there is that was that old wooden counter. And you know, the old wooden floor, that great smell. Oh, there's a train going through town, as you can see. There's a train going. Okay, and there's the old uh, community church right there, the long steep. And right there is where I saw uh, the first time I had seen Frankenstein in like maybe 10, 20 years. They had it on video for three bucks. Hey, three bucks is around Halloween. You would watch Frankenstein, Drake, and the Mummy. And I thought they were going to like show it on a big screen. So I go in there. It's a dinky little room up there in the loft. And I'll point it to you. And a lot of kids were there and stuff. And I didn't realize that. I thought it was for adults and kids. I thought it was there to show on a big screen. Dinky little TV set, you know, like 20 by 20 inch, whatever. 20, like three by two inches, two feet by three feet, whatever. Dinky little, not even that big. And we had to watch it on video. Dinky little room all crowded. A bunch of kids in there, man. Anyway, I didn't like it. It was all squashing there. I wasn't enjoying it. I wasn't comfortable. Didn't have a lot of room. Didn't see it on a big screen. Think I had to look at a middle line. I was like maybe five feet away trying to get a good view. Maybe six feet away from the screen. Here we go. AD 1925 was built. But right there by that door, that's where we went in. And they sold the tickets right by there. But go up there and up there, right there. And that second floor little, uh, I think like right there. That's where we saw the movies. Right in that second floor, little dinky thing. Or it might have been up there by the third door windows, I think. I actually think it was down there where the two went, you know. So anyway, didn't have too good of a time watching that. I, I left when, when they got to the moment. I just left. I can't, couldn't hack it. I think I watched Frankenstein and Dracula and I left. Didn't enjoy it. I should have wait. I should have walked out and asked for my money back. Anyway, Ben Franklin's available. I got right in there right by my monster cards. And right here, like I said, was that counter. Right in there, there was a counter right here by the door. And they had boxes of monster car. That, that thing was, wasn't there then. That's for Pioneer Press. That wall was not there. It got, the room went all the way back. You know, long, long room, all the way. You could buy all kinds of toys and stuff. And uh, monster mask, plastic mask, the rubber ran for 25 cents. Rubber insects right here by the door. They had a box full of rubber insects, big ants, big spiders. Look at that, look at that. Now that's a real truck right there. That is a real. That's an old Chevrolet truck, man, from the 50s. Oh, that's cool. So anyway, <laughs> monster cards right here, a box of Frankenstein in the box going like this. Mm, you know, is the Boris Karloff Frankenstein with his hand up. Yeah, spook stories trading cards five cents a pack five monster photo cards in there with a stick of that pink bubble gum Oh in black and white with a joke and underneath the photo black and white photos and on the back was another joke with like a drawing of a ghost They call they call God uh, uh, spook stories, but you know, it's like a like a joke like um why does uh Why is uh George Washington's uh something what, what, um, why is George Washington uh, not 
very uh, down. I, something, I, some weird job. Oh, oh yeah. What do you call um, cereal that ghosts eat? Ghost toasties. <laughs> it was some joke about Washington. I don't remember what it was. It, but you know, the thing is, he never lies. That, that was that was the answer. I'm trying to remember what the what the punch what the joke was. But I remember the answer was because he never lies. You know. Oh, I know something about why is George Washington always standing up? I think what they mean is the statue of him. Why is he never? Why is uh, George Washington always standing up? You know, in his statue, or whatever. Because he never lies. I don't know something like that. Anyway, and right in here is, um, you know, the boxes of monster cards. And I used to buy them. The first pack I got had the dinosaur in the front. It was the dinosaurus by the cave. And he says, I brush twice a day. And he's showing his fangs. That was the first card I got, I remember. I didn't get a Frankenstein. I wanted a Frankenstein card like my brother had. He had the Glenn Strange Frank. He had a stack like that. My mom gave him more money. He could buy all the cards he wanted. He had almost the whole collection. The rubber band around him. He cut off the jokes at the bottom, though, so just a photo would show. I, I, I like the jokes, man. It, that was part of the card. Because you know, otherwise you're cutting part of the card off. Anyway, so anyway, but back to what I was saying. Oh, uh, the Glenn Strange Frankenstein was the coolest. Then he had the one with Oliver Reed as the werewolf. Oh, yeah, he's like, you know, holding his arm out, you know, from the curse of the werewolf. And then there's that close-up of Oliver Reed on those cards where he's growling. Arr. You know, saying, I use dentine to brush my teeth or something like that. Anyway, okay. I'll see you. There's the train going through town again. There's another metro train. And over there, there's a barber shop way over there. That, that red awning there. That's where I got my hair cut right before I was on the John Stewart show. May of 95. For five bucks. I got a really good buzz haircut. That's why my hair was so short for... My television appearance on the John Stewart show, and then I went. I, my, it was all paid. The show paid my transportation round trip, and I was I stayed at a St. Moritz Hotel down in Central Park on 50 Central Park Avenue, right across from Central Park. I was up like on the 11th floor, 1101, 1111 or something, and uh, yeah, and I was live on the John Stewart show from New York, New York. That's Carl J. Sukenik territory where. Z is sci-fi filmmaker, video filmmaker, Carl J. Sukenik lives. I saw his old house, but uh, he wasn't around. But, uh, and they showed clips of my monster movies on the John Stewart show. And that's the new train station. They, they tore down the old one. They should have left the old one there. Back in like 91, they tore that down. 93, I think. Yeah, I was, was going to film scenes for my next werewolf movie, Werewolf of Chicago in there. When I'm waiting for a train, and then I go to Chicago, and then... I turn into the werewolf again when the moon's full, whatever, and I, I start attacking people in Chicago. But they tore down the old train station, so I had to film that scene somewhere else. But that's coming soon, Werewolf of Chicago. That's my next werewolf movie. Okay, I'll see you. And there's the old Pickwick Theater where I saw The Mummy when I was five years old. And the Phantom of the Opera when I was like about seven. The old Pickwick Theater, it's still standing after all these years. And I also saw Jack the Giant Killer there when I was about five. Ray Harryhausen did special effects for that, I found out later. Of course, he just died a few days ago. I think he died Sunday. May he rest in peace. I met him once at the Monster Bash 98. They have the Monster Bash every year, but I met him at the 1998 Monster Bash. That was the year that me, Forey, and Ray Harryhausen and Ron Chaney, we were all guests of honor. And I introduced movies there and stuff. Now we're at the Parker's Public Library where I'm going to use the internet and send emails to people. My music teacher died the other day, a couple days ago, Mr. Harstick, John Harstick. So I'm going to his wake and his funeral today over at South Park Church. I just stopped at Jeff Block's house to leave him, I told him about it, to invite him over so he'd come over because Mr. Harstick was our music teacher at Lincoln Junior High back from between 69 to 71. He used to do magic tricks and stuff. But I took, I met him in the store about a couple, like, like last year, and I videotaped him with my little pocket camera like I'm holding here with my other camera. And he did a magic trick inside a jewel, you know. And he did a little trick with a coin, making it disappear and stuff. Making it come out of his nose and stuff. So uh, I got him on video, man. Yes, yeah, so I that's up on your Facebook. I mean, it's up on YouTube. So, okay, I'll see you. Got to go in the Parker's library. I got shh, quiet, Rock. We're going in the library. Got to gotta be quiet. Shh. Shh. We're going to the library. Got to be quiet. Shh.
like Alfred Hitchcock goes. He does that at the beginning of Psycho. 